It was a dark and stormy night. Well, maybe not that stormy, but like it was it was a night. Like there was it was it was dark and it was definitely like a nighttime. You find yourself approaching a bus stop. It is late at night and the next bus to arrive is also the last one for today. And you do not want to miss it. <laughs> And welcome to Last Bus Home. Just one of those games that I, f I found on Itch.io that I thought really fit the the idea of, of the channel. I really like these low res horror games uh, for whatever reason. And I also just really like good storytelling. Um, this one seems like it might have both. I don't know how much game there is. I don't know what it's about truly other than we're trying to make it to the last bus home. And it just says press any key to begin. So that's what we're gonna do. It wasn't a key. I clicked. All right, well, I guess that's a key if you really want it to be. All right, so where are we at? Oh, we're already at the bus stop. Game over, friends. Hell yeah, we made it. About four minutes left and flies. Cool. Well, I guess we just wait for four minutes, right? Cool. Can't wait. I'm just going to have myself a little seat. Listening to the the buzzing of the flies. Oh man, where is that bus? Where is that bus? <sighs> well, I can't miss it, so I might as well wait at the bus stop like a normal person would. I should wait at a bus stop for th maybe three more minutes like a normal person would. What the fuck? Oh! oh, you're a human. Okay. Oh, jeez. Well, humans are kind of terrifying too. Just a person waiting for the bus. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yep. Cool. How, how you doing? Yeah. If it's, you know, if it's you and one other person at a bus stop, I guess it's okay to remain silent and just chill like a normal person. But I feel like if you're walking up from the bushes, you should at least warn somebody. Eh? Eh? Hey, kid. You call me a kid? What brings you here so late? Wow, so you finally deliver the pleasantries and they're not so pleasant. Not a talker, are you? I mean, how about this? How about what? There's a bottle of beer. There's this bottle of beer I have. Yeah. Maybe that will make you talk. That is a threat. Right? You kids seem to love it nowadays. I, that was very threatening. All right, I'll take a beer. You went missing, your body was never found. Yeah, no shit. That was an absolute fucking threat. I just wanted to see what would happen. All right, let's do that again. There's three endings also? I did not realize there was gonna be three endings. All right, well, how about this time we get the sneak up up on him? Nope, that's not a thing. All right, well, crossing the street, waiting for the bus across the street. It's great. It's perfect time to do it. Perfect place to be. What if I just walk home? Can I just walk home? Is that one of the endings? Say fuck this noise, have the longest four minutes of my goddamn life. I just gotta last three whole minutes. I've done that once in my life before. There he is, with your Castiel looking ass. Just a person waiting for the bus. Yep, and we're gonna wait from across the street. We're just gonna hang out right over here. And if he wants to talk, he can shout it. I'll stand right across from him. We'll just hang out for another three minutes. Actually, you know what? Let me check. How much time left? About two minutes, see? We're, we're waiting. Oh man, where is that bus? Huh, crazy. Yeah. I mean, yeah! <laughs> waiting for the bus, what about you? 
I'm talking to you now. <laughs> What's your name? <laughs> How about this? It's a bottle of beer I have. And why are you just lugging around a bottle of beer? No. No. No, it won't change my mind. I'm just actually just going to hang out. You kids. If you're referring to me as a kid and you're offering me beer, what does that say about your morality? What does that say about you? I think that says something more about you than about me. But, uh, how long is the bus left? Any moment now. Not even a minute left? The bus is on its way, dude. Bus is on its way. And I'm so glad I get to just hang out right here. Right here. Just hang out right here. You'll regret this one? That is a direct threat. The other ones I thought were subtle. Sweet. Can't wait to get on the bus. Sick nasty. I'll be getting on through this door, thank you. You made it home safely. Two out of three. What's the third ending? Missing the bus? I can miss the bus. How you guys doing? I'm pretty good, just waiting for the bus. Not a huge deal, you know. It's one of those early mornings for me again. I have a lot of those lately, on purpose. <sighs> Every time you arrive from the shadows, it creeps me the fuck out, dude. You're just a creepy guy. And I don't know if it's the trench coat or the goatee or the trench coat goatee combo. You are wearing a suit. He has to talk to me first and I have to endure that social interaction. I love enduring social interactions. This is the love of my life. I just love small talking when older men threaten me with beer. Hello there. <laughs> Why are you out at night? That's different right he said it differently the bo you're not a talker are you or ha was, I, was i just ignoring him before was i just not doing <laughs> giving him the the time of day how about this you have a bottle of beer with you maybe that can change your mind well no you're a creep come on then take a sip I'm good. This is different dialogue. This is for sure different dialogue. I, d I doubt anything's changed. I know it's going to be the same ending if I interact with him. You're making a mistake. Yeah, see, it is different dialogue. Interesting. I wonder if that's randomly generated. All right, cool. Last bus. And we're just going to hang. We're just going to chill. See how long the bus stays. It's usually not very long. There it is. Oh shit, okay, here we go. Ah, oh, you're still here. You're still here, huh? I'm good, dude. Like, if you're good, I'm good. We can hang out here all day. I have nothing else better to do. I actually thought the bus was gonna roll past and then he would be gone, but then that would, that would make the game dev assume that we were on the other side of the bus, which I doubt I'm supposed to be over here. I mean, just because I can doesn't... You died, your corpse was discovered the next day. Okay, so it didn't overly scare me, but I, ha I have goosebumps so bad from that. That was, what? Interesting, very, very short one. Um, very, very simple one. It was more real world scary than supernatural or like culty or like stuff like that. It was just like, this is just a normal dude and he either drugs you with a beer he has or he stabs you to death because he's a murderer and you missed your bus and all that stuff. And I think that's why it gave me goosebumps more than it jump scared me. I feel like there's so much potential there. I feel like there's something just untapped in 
the single setting horror, you know, because I think if you can tell a scary story in one spot, it makes it scarier. It makes it feel like you are less inclined to leave. I feel like there was more to be done there, more, maybe more lore, maybe more something. I feel like it, that could have gone deeper, but for what it was, it was dope. Gave me goosebumps. Very rarely does a game just make me not panic and just give me goosebumps. And I think it's because this shit does happen. Link in the description for this one. Uh, it was a pretty, pretty solid experience. Very short one. Also, we're streaming on Twitch. Probably today even. You don't know. Just check the Twitch channel. It's in the link in the description as well. And I would love to see you guys there. I'm having a really good time. We're playing games that we don't normally play on here. Subscribe if you want to see more of my face on a regular basis here. And I will uh, see you guys in the next video. Bye.